Welcome, cosmic explorers, to another episode of Investigating the Universe. Today, we're venturing into the realm of the seemingly impossible, the mind-bending and the utterly fascinating. We're going to discuss some groundbreaking scientific theories and findings that suggest our understanding of space and time might be completely off track. Yes, you heard it right. There's a chance that these fundamental aspects of our reality, the very fabric of our existence, don't exist as we perceive them. Astonishing, isn't it? But don't worry, we're not going to leave you hanging with just this shocking revelation. We will walk you through the intricate labyrinth of quantum theory, the theory of relativity, the concept of a holographic universe, and much more. So buckle up, folks. Prepare to have your mind expanded as we delve into the mysteries of the cosmos. To begin with, we must understand how we perceive space and time. Dive deep into your thoughts and ponder this for a moment. You are here in this moment, existing within the three dimensions of space, length, width and height. You're also moving forward in time, the fourth dimension, second by second, minute by minute. This is how we as humans perceive space and time. This perception has been ingrained in us through millions of years of evolution. Our ancestors for survival needs had to be aware of their spatial surroundings and the passage of time. Knowing the location of a predator or the time of day could mean the difference between life and death. Over time this awareness became so deeply embedded in our psyche that it's now second nature. We perceive space as something we can move through and time as something that moves us forward. But let's take a step back and look at it from a different angle. Do we perceive space and time as they truly are, or are they just constructs of our mind, shaped by our survival needs? Consider this, when you think about the past, you're not physically transported back in time. You're simply accessing memories stored in your brain. Similarly, when you plan for the future, you're not actually glimpsing into it. You're merely predicting based on past experiences and current information. So, are we truly experiencing space and time, or are we simply interpreting them through our human lens? Is our perception of space and time a reflection of reality, or is it merely a construct of our minds, a product of our biological and psychological makeup? It's a fascinating question to ponder, one that scientists and philosophers have grappled with for centuries. And as we delve deeper into this topic, it may just turn out to be the case that our ordinary perception of space and time is not an accurate reflection of reality. But what if this perception is not the ultimate truth? Quantum theory, the bizarre and fascinating branch of physics, has something to say about space and time. This field of study, which has been baffling scientists for over a century, is known for its strange counterintuitive concepts that often defy our everyday understanding of the universe. One of these concepts is quantum entanglement. It's a phenomenon where two or more particles become linked and the state of one instantly influences the state of the other, no matter the distance between them. This instantaneous connection suggests that space, as we understand it, doesn't really exist. After all, if two particles on opposite ends of the universe can affect each other in no time at all, isn't that suggesting that they're not really separated by space? But quantum theory doesn't stop there. It also brings up the concept of quantum superposition, which is just as mind-bending. This is the idea that a quantum particle can exist in multiple states at once, and it's only when we measure it that the particle decides to occupy one particular state. This has some profound implications for our understanding of time. If a particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously, then the concept of time as a linear progression from one state to another is challenged. In essence, quantum theory suggests that the universe doesn't exist in the way we perceive it. Space and time, these fundamental aspects of our reality, may not be as concrete and definitive as we think they are. Does this mean that space and time are illusions? Not necessarily. But it does mean that our understanding of them is incomplete and that there's a lot more to the universe than meets the eye. Quantum theory thus challenges our very basic understanding of space and time. It's a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the universe and how our perceptions of reality may just be a tiny piece of a much larger, more complex puzzle. Let's not forget about Einstein's theory of relativity, another major player in this cosmic drama. 
As we delve deeper into the universe's secrets, we encounter Albert Einstein's revolutionary theory of relativity. This theory, formulated over a century ago, still stands as a cornerstone of modern physics. It paints a fascinating picture of our universe where the fabric of space and time bends and warps under the influence of mass and energy. Imagine a trampoline, a nice flat surface. Now place a heavy bowling ball in the middle. What happens? The trampoline warps, dips, bends under the weight. In Einstein's vision, this is much like how space and time behave in the presence of mass and energy. A planet, a star, even light, they all cause a distortion in the space-time fabric, creating the phenomenon we perceive as gravity. But here's where things get truly intriguing. According to the theory of relativity, this warping of space-time isn't the same for everyone. It changes, it varies with the observer. If you're standing still, time ticks at a certain pace, but if you start moving, time starts to slow down. Yes, you heard it right. Time literally slows down when you're in motion. It's not something we notice in our daily lives, but it becomes significant when dealing with speeds close to the speed of light. So what does this tell us about space and time? Well, it suggests that they are not rigid, absolute entities. They are flexible, malleable, and most importantly, subjective. They change with the observer, they change with speed, they change with gravity. They are not separate, independent realities, but intertwined aspects of a four-dimensional space-time continuum. In the light of relativity, space and time lose their rigid, absolute nature. They become fluid, dynamic participants in the grand cosmic ballet. They shape the universe, and the universe, in turn, shapes them. This is the extraordinary vision offered by Einstein's theory of relativity, a vision that continues to reshape our understanding of the cosmos. And then, there is the mind-boggling concept of a holographic universe. Let's dive into a realm where science fiction seems to merge with scientific fact. What if I told you that the universe we live in could be a giant hologram? Yes, you heard that right, a hologram. This idea, known as the holographic principle, suggests that our three-dimensional perception of the universe is simply a projection of two-dimensional processes happening on a distant flat surface. This is not a random conjecture, but a serious proposal put forward by renowned physicists. It stems from the peculiarities of black holes and the mysteries of quantum gravity. The principle suggests that all the information about everything happening in the universe is encoded on a two-dimensional surface, like a cosmic boundary. And we, along with everything we know and see, are merely projections from this distant two-dimensional plane. Now, what does this mean for our understanding of space and time? If the holographic principle holds true, then space and time as we understand them become mere illusions, projections from the cosmic boundary that our brains interpret as three-dimensional reality. Imagine watching a 3D movie. The images seem to have depth and form, but they're simply projections on a flat screen. In the same vein, the reality we perceive could be a complex projection from a distant flat boundary of the universe. This theory has profound implications for our perception of reality. It challenges our conventional understanding and suggests a universe far stranger than we could have ever imagined. It posits a cosmos where the fundamental constructs of space and time, the very fabric of our perceived reality, are not as concrete as we once believed. The holographic universe theory is still in its nascent stages, with much left to explore and understand. Yet it opens up new avenues of thought and inquiry, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The holographic universe theory thus paints a picture of reality where space and time are just illusions. So, we have just journeyed through some of the most profound theories in physics. We've delved into the perception of space and time, how our senses interpret these dimensions and the way they influence our reality. We've explored the quantum realm, where space and time lose their conventional meaning and the fabric of the universe becomes a blur of probabilities. We've grappled with the mind-bending implications of relativity, where space and time meld into a four-dimensional space-time that warps and curves around massive objects. And we've pondered the astounding hypothesis of the holographic universe, suggesting that our three-dimensional reality might be a projection from a two-dimensional boundary. These theories challenge our traditional understanding of space and time, pushing the boundaries of our comprehension and hinting at a universe far stranger than we could ever have imagined. 
Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please subscribe to Investigating the Universe and like and share this video. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.